Yo, this is another prison story. I ain't done one of these one for a little while still. So, it's Pentaville, 2011, right? And um, I'm in HMP Pentaville, just been arrested. Went to the police station, got remanded, and boom, we're in Pentaville, right? And um, my, my my good family friend was there. So, him and my dad... Like, like best friends, so like he's like a cousin to me basically, yeah. So he was there in a bit of a madman, but he was he's, he was on his second gun charge. He ended up getting a third gun charge and he's being deported right now, but he was on his second gun charge at the time, right? And obviously, he's just moving how he moves in the jail, but then he told me, like, raw, he's had a madness with our next brother that I know from Rhodes. And that, but me and the other guy have always been cool. Like, I never had an issue with him. He's never had an issue with me. We've always been calm. But the guy on the road has also got an issue with one of my other uh, big cousins as well. But like I said, I've never always had a problem. I've never had a problem, right? So, but what's happened, like, obviously, my big cousin has told my other, uh, what you call it, family friend, cousin stroke thing, like, yo, see my man move to him and that he... So, what's ended up happening is that I think my man's telling people, yeah, I'm going to move to my man when I see him, right? So obviously my man's caught wind of that. So when they're at the gym, while my man's doing his workout, the next brother got like a metal pole and and hit my 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 my, my, my other bitch, my so family friend hitting me in the head over in it. So obviously I've come to the jail after this. So my man told me what happened. Like, right, yeah, my man tried to lick me in the head with a, what do you call it? It's peak for man, it's peak for man. And obviously, we got moved from G-Ring now. Me and my Cody got moved from G-Ring and moved to, moved to D-Ring where the other brother was. And mind you, like I said, I've always been called a brother. But then my family friend told me, yeah, when you see my man, move to him, move to him. And it's kind of similar to the story I told you before. Like when my brother was telling me, telling me to move to his um, next brother from Peckham. And then um, the older from Peckham, Jerry, was telling me, no, 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 you man can't you, you man can't do that, man. We're all Peckham together. But anyway, it's that similar story. Like, yeah, when you go to when you go on that wing, move to my man. But I'm like, nah, I've always been cool with him. Like, what? I'm going to try and see some spot to my man. Like, yo, what are going on? What, what, what happened? He's like, explain that. Yeah. He's telling mom he's gonna do this, gonna do that to me. So I moved first, innit? And because of what's been going on on the road, certain man was sent to, and I'm like oh, kind of stuck in the middle of it. So there's this pressure I feel now from my family member on the road, my other family um, friend from things and like, right, this man's violated you. Man, you should move to him. But I'm saying, nah, I've been cool with my man. I've always been cool with him. I've got no issues with him. Why am I going to go and move to my man? I've always been issue with him. And I spoke to him and he explained to me like the whole issue around it. So sometimes you have to assess situations. Yeah? Sometimes I say you have to think about things before you just jump to conclusion and jump on a bandwagon and go and do a madness and try to do something to prove something. Because let's say now I wouldn't have done something. Yeah? I've got done something, gone to the block. Now I'm gonna have beef with someone that I never had beef with over an issue that had nothing to do with me, that I don't know nothing of, and now I have to be looking over my shoulder in the jail now. So also when I spoke to my man, like he like just reason, and it's like, yeah man, it's like he explains the whole situation to me. I'm like, look, I told the man, them, like, look, I'm not gonna get involved in this. It's got nothing to do with me. I've always been cool, my man. So then my 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 family member looking at me kind of sideways a little bit, like, rah, nah, like, are you? Gonna? But I told him, like, yo, I'm not gonna get involved in that because got nothing to do with me. I've always been cool, my man. You get me? You can't just jump on next people's beefs without knowing the ins and outs and just getting involved. And next thing, you become a target because you you you're, you're jumping into things, yeah, and. What happened to it as well is that the next brother was in for a shooting anyway. He ended up busting the case and then his Cody, his Cody actually ended up getting murdered on on the road over some, over some, the whole beefing, whatever they, they were having anyway. And funnily enough is that my um, family friend, um, he actually got reported because, like I said, he got caught with his third gun charge and he's been, he's back home now. And then me and the other brother, he, he messaged me via Instagram maybe like a good four or five months ago. And we've been, uh, he's come and bought tab off me a couple of times as well, and linked up with me a couple of times, and we've always been kind of cool. And it just, it just made me feel like, right, imagine now, yeah, I would have gone and done a madness, then this guy's been deported anyway, and now I'm in London having beef with, with, with the next madman over the next brother who's not even here no more, he's sent back home, and now I got. So sometimes you have to assess, you have to assess situations, and you have to, and that. Even to this day, him and my other big cousins still don't get along. But it's a thing that we're like, you know what? 
it's like you know what everyone just hold their peace everyone just hold their like there's no like we're all everyone's living everyone's doing their what you call it and the, uh, there might be there not might not be likes for each other but at least yeah you're cordial you keep the peace and that's what it is sometimes sometimes you might not like someone you think oh this guy's a pretty this guy's a pretty. i don't like him you're cool you don't have to act on it but not liking someone don't mean you have to go and act on it you don't have to go and um do a madness because like i said anything can backfire so when man are telling you right yo move to my man do that assess the situation i said why are they asking you to go and do that and if you do that what are the consequences that come with that because now you have to look it over your shoulder because now you started a beef with someone else that you didn't have a beef with and like i said my man's come and bought tabba off me a couple of times my man's reached out to me. my man's always been a cool guy to me when you see this video is even a laugh because he knows i'm talking about him and like it would be and that just made me feel like raw you have to really, really take time. Don't feel pressured. You know what I'm saying? Don't feel pressured because I felt pressure. Like, they were saying, like, yo, you're letting us, you're letting, you're letting my man. And I said, like, yo, guys, don't put pressure on me to go and do a madness because, like, I ain't got an issue with my man. And that's just, you have to be brave and say, nah, I ain't got, because some kids feel pressure. Remember being in, in, in HMP ISIS, right? HMP ISIS was the worst one because. People, you can tell they don't want to go and do a thing, but they feel the pressure. If you don't ride out, you get de-recruited and then you become a target. So I remember a certain man, like, yo, you have to go match the work, you know, have to go match the work. You can see that a certain man don't want to go and do the work, but they're just going to go and do it because they feel like, oh, if I don't do it, everyone's going to feel like I'm a waste, man. Nah, tell them, look, yo, I'm not getting involved. But it's hard. It's hard when you're, you're young offenders and tell people you're not getting involved because then they turn on you. It happens so many times. So it's a bit like a... <laughs> It's just stuck between a, a, a rock and a hard place. But you have to really think about what some of the stuff you're doing and think of, is it even worth going? Like, because now, like, my man's come out of jail. I mean, him are cool. And he's doing what he's doing. And he's reached out to me to work on a few different things. And, like, he just bless. And obviously, like, my my my, my fellow member's back home now. And he's blessed. He's doing what he's doing. But, like, when you think about the grand scheme of things, yeah, it's over nothing and over bullshit. And man, man them will go to war basically over nothing and bullshit and then things extend and, 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 and they get worse and worse. So you have to really, really think about when someone's saying, yo, come and go and mash the man, man. Come and go and do this thing. Because you don't think about the consequences, man. You don't think about the consequences. That's the thing. If I would have done that right now, I'd be looking over my shoulder all the time. But don't get me wrong, mama's a gunman as well. <laughs> so it's like, all right, cool. Now I've gone and done that. I got my, my my little kudos from jail, but now I'm on road. I'm looking over my shoulder because because uh, because uh, nah, man. I rather live like happily. I I can tell you, I can tell you right now, yeah. There's no one in this world that I had beef with, and I feel good about that. There might be people who don't like me. Don't get me wrong. There might be people I don't like either. But there's nobody that. I like, I, I do dislike enough to want to go and do a madness to you. If I dislike you, I just don't involve you around things that I do. If you, don't, if, you, if, if you don't like me, that's on you. But I don't think there's anyone in the world who dislikes me so much to say, yeah, I want to go and kill my man. Because I ain't done nothing to you like that for you to want to kill me. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I keep myself like that. Because... I'm cool with everyone. I've got no issues no one. Certain, the certain, I've got certain certain people that I'm cool with that got mad, mad, mad beef with other people. I always say, look, I'm not involved in it. I can't get involved in it. It's nothing to do with me. You know, the, big, the biggest one even is like, let's say the, the bar of Hackney, right? So there you go again. Hackney with football. Club. Let's say the bar of Hackney, right? I've got no issues with anyone in Hackney. But of course, in Hackney, people got issues with each other. And sometimes it becomes a bit, it becomes hard for me because like, I might want to invite certain people to certain things, but I can't invite them to certain things because I remember this 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 how mad it was, right? Yeah. I didn't even know all the politics that happening because we were doing like a, a video shoot on launching my, my new kits and invited all the man them um from from um fields and all they all came down and, and, and helped me out to do the shoot, right? And I was gonna invite the other people from different sides as well. So I'm like, oh no, you can't bring them together. I'm like, why not like you mad? I'm like, oh, I didn't even know this. So you, that's why when I do my football tournaments and things like that. Sometimes people might think, oh, you're taking the side because you're picking it. I'm like, nah, like, I'm trying to make sure there's no trouble. 
I try to make sure that there's there's no issues with no one. And everyone that comes down, everyone's cool. So no, there's no problems at all. I, I'm looking out for the safety of everyone first. Because I would hate for one of my events, which are to unite and to bring peace, for there to be a madness there. I would hate for that. But anyway, I just thought I'll share that, that story with you guys to make you guys think about, you know what? Life, I would tell people, think outside the blocks, man. Think bigger, man. And that's just one angle for me in regards to uh, people from the outside uh, putting hits on people on the inside. There's also those issues where people on the inside are put hits out on the people outside. I know a couple of cases, like in South London, where they say a man put in the work, um, put in the calls, and then someone got touched on the outside, and then everyone ended up getting birded anyway. So it's mad. It's mad, man. You know what? I just wish... I just wish, yeah, that everyone can see the bigger picture. There's always a bigger picture. Yes, when money is involved and women are involved, there's, there's, there's emotions. Humans, humans we, we, we live off emotions. But if you can learn to control your emotions, yeah, you'll be a step higher in achieving whatever you want to do. Because naturally, sometimes we don't think with our brains. Yeah? And as I say this year, check out this young gunner. Yeah, so proud of him. Yeah, man signed pro contract. Yeah, at Tottenham. Yeah, and I wish him nothing but success upwards and onwards and for him to reach the higher heights of his career. Check him out. What are you saying though, man? Good, man. Good. Good. You're living the dream. Actually, let's not, let's not get too gassed up yet because you've still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, of course. Sign Paul Papers at Tottenham. Come on, man. Like, come on, man. I, I just feel you do that knowing that you come from Hackney. You live local. I don't want to bait out your house. You know, you yeah. live just around the corner as well. But yeah. How does it feel? Nah, it feels good, obviously. But um, obviously, the next step is to play first. Of course, obviously, Tottenham's 23 is all right, but you know, there's always, there's always better, bigger and better. You looking to go out alone and try to get that experience? Uh, I've been in for a year before this, so the whole of 2019, I didn't play football. Mm. So I reckon this season is just for me to play football. I've been involved the first time here and there, like training. So I reckon if I keep doing what I'm doing. So what's my reason? Seems like yeah, I like that coach, Jeremy. Are you see? No, yeah. I've had, a, I've, I've had a few chats with him. He's all right. He likes me so. Banana, Congo, yeah. This is one of our ones, you know. We're picking up this summer, man. Make sure you guys follow his progress, man. I will follow it from here, man.